guys, it's me, the messy hand. It's Miss Gorringe here, and I am gonna teach you how to make a Bob the Bird beak. Bob the artist. So hopefully by now you have created four of your artist inspired pieces of paper. I'm gonna leave this one and I'm gonna demo with this lovely pink bit here. So you needed to have cut them or trimmed your pieces of paper into squares. It doesn't matter how big or small they are, we're still going to be able to make Bob's beak quite easily. So the first thing you are going to have to do is you are going to need to fold it in half. Now that can be a little bit tricky, so you might want to help with an adult. You're going to fold from corner to corner. Please excuse my messy hands, I've just finished painting my artist sheets. So you're going to fold it in half like this from corner to corner. A nice push here. And then what you're going to do is you are going to fold again, open it up, and fold again. This little guy and this little guy, they're gonna go into the middle, like this. Fold. And fold again. You can see I didn't tidy up my table very well. I've got bits of paint everywhere. So you can start now to see how our beak is going to take place. So what you're going to do here, you should have this pattern. You are going to use some glue to stick one side like so Doo -doo. and you have a beak now make sure you stick it nicely in there you've got the beak well you've got one part of it anyway you can use tape or glue, it's up to you. So you've got one, and what you're then going to need to do is you are going to need to make your other one. Now I'm gonna do that with my artist paper here. You're gonna to need to wait one in plain and one with your artist. So I'm gonna do exactly the same. Oh, it's making my eyes go funny. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna show you one more time, corner to corner. Not this way, but you're gonna go across here so you're going to fold like this push down open out and then this corner to the middle this time that's when we start you can start seeing the beak shape push nicely down and this one to this one again Lovely. And open out. And then what you need to do is you stick this to there. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. And you stick the two pieces together. You can get your hand in. Really push down. And there you have. Now you need to put these, you need to make sure that these go together. So a way that you can do that is you're going to create a hinge. So you need to grab any other piece of paper is absolutely fine. So I've just got this little bit here and what I want you to do is just fold it like this. Just fold it in half. A little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue here. And you're going to line the two up together like this. And then you're going to put the hinge on the inside of both of them and squeeze down. And there you have your artist 
Bob beak, but Bob isn't complete. Bob is not complete because Bob needs an eye, of course. So what I'd like you to do is get a simple piece of paper like this and you are going to grab your scissors and you're going to create a circle for the eye. Now, I would suggest that you draw around something round so that you can make a very good circle. I'm actually gonna try and practice my cutting. So I'm gonna go and get my scissors and I'm gonna chomp slowly and moving my paper at the same time. Wow, now that's a very, very big eyeball, but we want it to go inside here. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tuck that circle inside. So you're gonna need to make your circle quite big because it's gonna be both eyeballs. This one, Bob's not gonna have a very big eyeball, is he? So what you need to do is you need to just make sure if you're using an A4 piece of paper, that's the same size as your sketchbook, your one big circle needs to fill half of your page. Your, a, your beak has been cut from an A4, so you wanna try and get it quite big. And then what you need to do is just put a little bit of glue on the inside here, a little bit of glue on the inside here, And you are going to push your beak up against your eye like that. This one. Make sure it sticks. You might want to use a bit of sellotape or hold for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze it down. Now what you then can do. Our Bob is looking very good right now. Very good. You can cut out some eyes. I've got some black paper here. If you cut two at the same time, you'll get two of the same. So fold it. Practice cutting your circles. Or what you could do is you could just draw. I really like to practice cutting circles. I find it very relaxing. Now Bob looks a little bit scary with two big black eyes. Or oh, Bridget Riley Bob. So what we need to do now is put some other circles on the inside. So again, fold it in half to create two and then some little white highlights will make Bob look really fabulous. You should have two. One, two. Nice bit of glue. There we go. Now you can do any kind of eyes you like. You could even give Bob some eyelashes. And maybe I will give him some eyelashes. I'm gonna use a pen now. And there we have our Bridget Riley inspired Bob Artist. Bob the Artist inspired. So now I want you to have a go using your other piece of paper that you've created because I'd like you to make two different Bobs based on our artists. So have fun and enjoy.